Hello YouTube and welcome to Let's Play, um, let's see what game this is actually. Uh, I guess I'm speaking English, um, a warning sign? What is this? The Pokemon Company, so it has to be a Pokemon game. Nintendo. Chunsoft. Pokemon. Um, what game could this possibly be? Who are these people? Or should I say Pokemon? Okay, Pelipper's flying up. Um, what's going on? Out of the Pelipper hut, into the sky. And thus, we start our adventure in Pokemon Hunt Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Yay, I'm playing the GBA version because it's a lot less laggier, can't work at GS emulator very easily, and blah 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 blah. Easier to record with the GBA emulator. So there you go. So let's make a, a new game. Then it's time. Welcome. Okay, this is the point that leads to the world of Pokemon. Before I can let you through, I have, to get, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Have you ever made a pitfall trap? Uh, no. Do you tend to laugh a lot? Yes. It's, there's a bucket. If you put it water and how high will you fill it? You're full. You come across this treasure chest. What do you do? I'll open it right away. Do you like to fight? No, you're suddenly locked inside a pitch black door. What do you do? Uh, okay, pitch black room. I would, uh, I guess I'll kick the door. We could, but then we'll play with you. Uh, let's see, I'll go. I don't know, I'll just hang on vacantly. It calls you weird, but funny. It makes you feel. Are you, boy, you appear to be the calm type. You're both giving advice. You don't like to fight. You're a warm, kind hearted person who cares. You must have very friends. However, you may also be somewhat gullible, as well as somewhat careless and even a little floppy. You might want to keep those points in mind. A calm person like you should be Mudkip. Yay! Okay, oh god, it's time for a partner. And uh, the best partner to get is always the one which will suit your weakness. So, in this case, uh, my, my weakness will be a grass type, so the best idea will be a cynical for partner. Well, actually, no, well, meh, whatever, I don't even know, whatever, I'll, 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 I'll go and fix this weakness. But I guess I'll call, uh, the partner, um, I should call him, actually. Huh. That's only I'm after my good old buddy, old pal, Alex. Let's see here. Oh, wait, there's the mini A. Okay, there we go. There we go, let's name it after Alex. Do, 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 do. Whatever Cyndaquil is accidental, but whatever, I'll go with it. I always usually pick Cyndaquil as a partner anyway. It's always a good idea to have different types of Pokemon. The great thing about Mudkip is the fact that I'm completely resistant to electric types. I hear a voice from somewhere, I wonder who it is. Okay then. Um, excuse me, please wake up. Come on, wake up. Okay then, I'm just sleeping, I'm okay then. I'm finally awake. Where is this place? You're passed out here. I'm Alex. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around here. Wow. Uh, you're a human? But you look like a normal mudkip in every way. Okay then, with the colored text. If it's true, I've turned into a mudkip. Of course, the blue text. Hmm. Okay then, what a weird. Okay, my name apparently. Uh, let's see, let's go with Aaron. It's a good idea. No, yes, it's okay. Press the yes button. Okay, my name is Aaron. It's a funny name, of course. It's your drop. Look at the faceless screen to do that. By the way, this is the very first Pokemon game which I got, which is the reason why I'm let's playing it next. The LP number 9 or 10, I don't know. But a caterpillar you follow the cater cavern, so we need to go and save him now, apparently. How fun, Pokemon are attacking you. There's a fissure in the ground. Oh, fun. Okay, this is this needs awesome. So I guess it's time to go and help the world. Tiny Woods be one. Yeah, let's see. The, the way this game works is weird. Yeah. Alright, Pidgey picked up stuff. Uh, I need to configure the controls. Nice, okay. Uh, okay, this... 
This is some weird darn it. Okay, I would like to go and fix fix up the controls, game options, dungeon, speed, fast. Actually, we'll go fast. Far off pals, look, damage turn, yes. Yeah, grids on map, that should be a uh, shade. Yes. Others, window could be green, I guess, why not? Uh, default, no. There, let's see what else is there, I believe. Okay, yeah, there's hints all over the place. And moves, I believe it's the car. Okay, so select. Uh, I believe I should, I should set this guy as my default move. So the, this game is pretty mm, intuitive, actually. Let's see, using the R button, you can move diagonally. Uh, this, this this thing's a stair, actually. So pretty much using it, we'll go and move you to the next floor, but I don't want to do that yet. Let me see, you can use the R button and face this guy, and then use my A button attack. But it's pretty weak, actually. Which is the reason why you don't want to use it too much. Yeah, money, money, it's called po Pokey, whatever the heck. Yeah, it's good stuff. This is a dungeon crawler game, which just really makes it fun. Uh, holding B and A will go and make you skip turns, but it makes you more hungry. Oh yeah, start, start will, like, help you, like, face directions. Select makes the map black. Uh, let's see. And now, oh yeah, I haven't charged L A yet, but we'll figure it out in when we go and find another Pokemon. Let me see, also holding B will make the battle go a little bit faster. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's go and show off, and let's go get over here. So if I already hold A L, I mean L and then press A, and then I'll use Tackle, which is a lot more powerful. Makes it a lot more powerful. So let's see, those won't move until you do. Let's see, actually let's go and you start and face this guy. And L A, murder. It's pretty much murder at this point. Diagonal moving is the best type of moving you are. You can get, uh, there's only two floors in this area, which is why I always want to explore this place and get some items and whatnot money. I'm so lucky with this. I've been really lucky with the staircases. Like later on in other dungeons, they'll be a lot bigger and a little bit more tedious. I right, well, let's see. But killing everything is a good idea. But Alex, of course, grows to a level six first. Darn you. Okay, and the thing about leveling in this game is that you can't really, you can't really selectively train your Pokemon. It's pretty much you train is magically you just go and do stuff. So I learned Mud Slap. It's a okay move. It's, it has a bad accuracy, I think. Or I believe, let's see, if I pulled A and B, B, A, B, A, then I can just go and make him go over here, rather than using like, holding A down multiple times. Looking down here. Let's see, uh, nope, this game is pretty fun. Uh, oh, oh, there's Shigarita, or whatever the heck, this is a sun But, uh, uh, and more stairs, and Tiny Woods B3 is the, next no, about the end. Okay, you regain HP as you move. Yeah. Born Berry restores HP. It's good stuff. Okay. Yeah, over here's the staircase. Oh, there. Whatever, I don't know why I'm not picking them up. Oh yeah, the thing is that you don't get a bag yet. So I can, I can only carry two items, actually. That's the only reason why I can't pick up items yet, because literally I can't actually hold them. Uh, let me see what's with this area. Anything here? Uh, I think I would want the, uh, whatever, I don't need that peach berry. Okay, whatever, I can keep it. Let's go in towards the exit now, since I can't really do much here. And as you can see, we got a good amount of money, 144 pokey, or poke, or however you pronounce it. <sighs> Yay, and now, hey look, it's a Caterpie. Apparently it's the Caterpie which fell down the cliff, or whatever that was, fissure in the ground, if this doesn't look anything like a fissure. But whatever, we got out of the dungeon, magically. I don't know how that happens, but okay. Okay, so dangerous situations, yay. And berries are your good old friends in this game, so make sure you use them a lot. There's no potions or anything. There's literally no potions at all in the game. The best things you have in the game are berries. And they do a lot. They heal a lot of HP. So yeah, we got 
Peach Berry and Ross Berry. Okay. Thank you so much. I have no idea how we're carrying all that, even though we can only carry like one at a time, but okay, I'll do that. We'll just go with it. So we got an Oran Berry, a Petra Berry, and a Ross Berry. And then we can go and stay with our good old friend Sidniquil, or Alex. And this is our crazy house. It's pretty nice. It looks really nice as well. Wow, it looks nice. I'm a human being, but I like this place might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. That might be how it feels to wag your tail. Okay, let's see, yeah. Uh, There's their mailbox. A nice little mailbox. They all open the mail. Okay, so apparently there have been many natural disasters lately. Many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon. It's a tough time. I want to help change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh, well, I'd like to you handle yourself. Would you like to join me on our rescue team? Okay, let's form a rescue team. Yay, now we're partners. Team name, what should we call it? Hmm, I wonder what we should call it. Uh, just for the, just for, just for no reason. Let's call it, uh, good idea. Team T. No, we also call it Team Mega for no reason. Let's go with that. Mega, I like it. It's a good name. Rescue Team Mega. Of course, the most original name of all. And that is how Aaron and Alex begin their careers together as a rescue team. Okay then. And yay, we get to see the title screen magically again. That looks look really nice. Just the title screen looks a little bit weird and out of place. But okay, I'll take it. Next morning. Okay then. By the way, whenever it's the next morning, prepare a plot point. And that's what it means. Because regularly when it turns morning, you won't say that. But yay. Yeah, okay, we have to rest in bed apparently. Let's save. Uh, sadly, the game forces saves, I think. I don't know, something of the sort. We've been feeling much faster. I've looked like a Pokemon. I let's ride that Pokemon. I think it was Alex. We made it from the former rescue team together. I wonder what Alex is doing. I should go out. Okay. You're holding B, you run really fast. Uh, oh no. Haha, uh, sorry, I was excited. I came out here and looked for you. I must just news now. Okay, this is the beginning of a rescue team. But we don't have any job offers yet. Oh yeah, we maybe have something in the mailbox. Now let's check the mailbox. A rescue team starter kit. Yay. Yay, rescue team badge, toolbox, and the issue of the Pokemon news. Yeah, there are some good stuff. We use it in carrying items. Then we can put that stuff in there. And probably the Pokemon news, it's where the rescue, rescue teams put the news in the mailbox. Okay then. Any other mail? Check the mailbox. It's empty. Okay. Huh. Nobody uh, knows us, apparently. Okay then. Flat, flat. Ooh. Hello for coming. Delivering the mail. Hmm. Yeah, so let's go and check the mailbox. Okay, what's inside the mailbox? Oh, a letter. Buzz, buzz, I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave, wave flowed through the dungeon. And it's stuck together, Magnemite and Magnemite. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It is not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Buzz, buzz, buzz from Magnemite's friend. Okay, let's go. Okay, and so we go off, I like how this little like weird map sequence, it's pretty cool, but yeah, it's time to go to this place. Okay, so their friends are in the cave, they still can't form a magneton, blah blah blah. Thunder Wave Cave, yay. 
Steve, foes using moves because they have A for experience points. Okay. Apples are really useful. They fill your belly. Pretty much, as you can see, this is belly at 100 out of 100. So, pretty much what that means is pretty much, uh, well, as we walk, our belly will, uh, it will slowly deplete. So, yeah. Like, maybe now, yeah, so now it's at 99. And when it goes to zero, then we start dying, pretty much. We literally start dying, which is not good. Uh, let's see. I would like to go in. So this is like a rogue-based game. And there are no items in these places. Okay. Die. And then we'll Another thing is that, like, every single one of your moves will always have PP, as usual. The only problem is that in this game, it's a little bit more apparent, because you can't- there's no Pokemon centers or anything of the sort. So you need to really rely on eaters and whatnot. Or rely on, like, all your movies being attacking moves, because Growl is not gonna help you too much in this game. It's more like, literally, just go and have all the attacking moves. These little things are really great. Yeah, in this- in this area, there's also seeds. Wonder tiles will, will make your t stats go back to normal. Same thing as switching that, kind of like switching out Pokemon. That's why those wonder tiles are there. So if any Pokemon use Growl on you, they can just simply fix your stats. Oh, darn it. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm just messing up now at this point. Wasted a tackle. But let's go towards the uh, Die Puchiana. I'm just gonna go and murder everything in this game. Well, until we get to the, so we can become over leveled. And over leveled is really good in this game because that makes you a little bit better. Against all the attacks, I mean, against all the other Pokemon. Which are all trying to kill you. Yeah, IQ stats are really useful. Pretty much. Uh, let's see, team. If I were to go to Alex and check his IQ, we can actually uh, change this stuff. So let's see, dedicated travel. Uh, it will go and use moves. We want that on exclusive move user. Uh, let's go with that. Switch on. Yeah, that's definitely a good good idea to have on your IQ thing. And also, you, also another thing is that there are also tactics. So yeah, we can let let's go together. Go up foes. Press one. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. Well, oh yeah, I think I was on tactics, so yeah, keep it on, let's go together, it's a good idea. Now let's go through this cave. Uh, yeah, these parts might be a little bit longer because of the fact that there's not too much of any, like, rest. There actually is a little sleep option, so yeah, I can click save if I want. But I think I'll go with, the um, being this dungeon, let's see, we're on beef 2. So actually, uh, let me see. Well, for right now, I actually, I think, I think this has been a part. Well, I'll get to be. I'll get to the third floor, and then I'll go. Let's see. Oh, fine. You can die. Yeah. The also using moves gets you more experience points, which is why you want to definitely use those things. They do more damage, and you get more experience points. And they kill Pokemon quicker. It's it's great stuff. Okay. Now where the heck is this end area? Yeah. Uh, I see, uh, a little, what's with the sleeping Pokemon? There's like a billion of them. And now I grew to level 7. Level 7, well, Alex is level 8. What is this? Eh, whatever. Let me see. Let's go over here. And then we're almost there. Okay, this is definitely a circle. Okay, still need to go there. But I would like to be here. Okay, there's, no, there's nothing here. But uh, this has been a uh, part part one of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and next part we'll see you in the in the rest for the rest of Thunderwave Cave. Bye bye.